In this video, we're going to have a look at the bolted connection tool inside of Autodesk Inventor. So the bolted connection tool uses our content center and it allows us to place bolted connections. So we're going to start off by looking at the blind connection type and then we're going to move on to the through type. So first off, you'll note that there are a bunch of different placement types. We're going to start with linear and work our way through. So the tool itself actually guides you through each stage of placing a bolt but for the purpose of the video, I'll walk you through it. So the first thing is it's selected start plane and it's actually asking me to select a plane where the connection starts. So that's gonna be over here. Now, because I'm using linear, I'm basically dimensioning in 3D as I go. So it needs a dimension over here, I'll put in 30. Dimension over here, I'll put in 30 again. It needs a blind start plane. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna drill through my angle over here and then it's gonna go into this block and the blind start plane is going to be over there. Right now I can see my vaulted connection being built up. So at the moment those are just sort of nominal sizes. You'll see that I'm using a 12 millimeter diameter. I can change it to say a 20 or a 10, whichever size I'd like. And I can choose what type of profile I want to use. In this instance I'm using ISO. So let's go back to a 12. You'll see that my hole being drilled is a 13.5 and that the hole down the bottom over here is an M12 by 1.756H. And that is defined by the standard that I've chosen. So I'm gonna click Add Fastener. This goes into my Content Center and it chooses my bolts for me. And again, I can choose by standard. I'm gonna stick with ISO for the moment. And those are all the ISO bolts available. And I can then filter this. So in this instance, I wanna look at socket head bolts and I'm gonna go and choose the 4762. That places it in automatically and you'll see that what it's done is it's drilled this hole for me based on a 55 millimeter long bolt. Now, if I drag this bolt longer, you'll see that my hole stays that little bit longer with me. Now, the cool part about this is that I'm getting a preview on my screen over here. So I can tell that's about as big as I wanted. It's setting a size for me and it's drilling the hole for me all based on the standard. So when I'm happy with that, I can say, okay, or apply and that'll add it into Inventor. Now I can also save this setting as my own template to use again later. So I can go add this in, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this one blind. I'm gonna say okay. That's gonna place that in. So what are the important key takeaways here? Well, if we look at this, um, these two components, what it's done is it's drilled a hole through both of these parts for me. In this instance, that's a tapped hole and this one's a through hole the clearance so the next method of placing a bolted connection we're going to use on point and the same rules apply which is our start plane which is our points we choose our blind start plane and I can then go and choose to set in one of my favorites and in they go and as before the holes are drilled through and everything's in there the next bolt type is the concentric type so this works by having a start plane as well it then uses a circular reference and a blind start plane and we can add in secondary circular pipes as well and if there's a pattern you can tell it to follow a pattern and as before we'll set in a favorite say okay and in it goes on that concentric reference all right let's look at the through type so if we go to the through type go by on point for the moment similar as before needs a start plane needs the point or points and then it needs a termination so this is where we're going to bolt through and if we look at a top view right so you can see our two through holes and what we do now is we're going to grab the bolt we want add in the washer so those two fasteners bolt and washer are above our holes and below our holes we're going to want a washer and then a nut. Right, those are going in. And again, I can now add this as a favorite and we'll say, okay. That is then built for me. And as before, we now have our holes going through both components as we'd expect. All right, last one. Let's look at on hole or by hole. So what we do, start plane, 
then asks us to choose an existing hole. So we'll choose that one over there. And it's chosen a diameter. We've got a diameter of 12 over there. We're using an isometric. So what it needs is the termination plane. You can tell it to follow the pattern. So it'll go and grab all the holes if we want. So we can toggle that on or off. And just to be clear, our current plate doesn't have any holes in it. So once we set in a favorite, all of our bolts are placed and the holes are now drilled into our plate at the back. So that's a quick overview of all of the different connection types you can use your bolted connections for. Hope you find that useful. Thank you.